It's Framework Friday. Welcome to another great episode of Cracking Daily Brain Health. My name is Brian Stout and I will be your guide today. And I'm excited to share with you today because today we're talking about identity. Today, we're talking about identity, how we think about ourselves, the things that we have, you know, as, as symbols of our identity and what that means when it comes to our long-term brain health. So let's just talk about it. Let's just jump into it because you know me, I don't want to waste time, you know, warming up, you know, all that stuff. Let's just dive right in. Okay. So we have an identity crisis with our brain health. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is about how we increase our drive time. The longer we have great brain health. But first, let me let me just tell you a story. What was your worst vehicle buying experience like? Think about that. Like if, if you've ever bought a vehicle, what was that like? Did you go into the dealership with a budget in mind, uh, the type of vehicle that you wanted and leave driving something expensive and different from what you had envisioned? Well, I've had that experience a couple of times. But sadly, that was not my worst experience. The worst experience was showing up at my dad's house when I was 19 and seeing a Camaro parked in the driveway. When I got inside, my dad handed me the keys and proclaimed it was mine. Now, before you scratch your head and get mad at me and think, what a jerk, um, let me explain. I was driving a 1981 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme that was maroon at the time. And yeah, it wasn't a great car, but it was mine. I had picked it out um, and bought it before I was 16. So it was my first vehicle and that came with some attachment. I got her in 1989. So the car was about eight years old. So it was starting to have problems. And this is now 1992 when I stepped into my dad's house and I had my dad handed the keys and a $250 a month car payment booklet that he got from the local credit union for this six speed manual transmission V6 dark brown Camaro with yellow, orange, and tan stripes near the big black aluminum louvered rear windows, which every time I drove that thing, those windows rattled. It was not pretty, powerful, or pristine. It was a rolling turd with orange and brown crusty rust starting to form on the lower body. I'm not kidding you. Like this is this, this brown Camaro right here. This, this looks beautiful compared to what I was driving, but it was a very similar Camaro. Um, just imagine like up near the back, these brown, orange and dark brown stripes going back to the taillights and it wrapped around both sides, rust forming on the lower door panels and all that stuff. Like it was, it was a mess. Um, and it was, it was now mine since my dad bought it off of a guy at GM he'd worked with. To this day, I have no idea why he bought me the car. I know my dad loved me, but I felt like this was punishment. Um, I was not in the market for a new car either. So I was a freshman in college. I was, I was having trouble paying for school and my social life. Adding a car payment while I was making $7 an hour was not really a welcome addition to my growing expenses. Now, why would I tell you this story about this unwanted car? What does this have to do with long-term brain health, right? Many of us are walking around with unwanted identities we have told ourselves. Maybe it was given to you like the Camaro by someone else, or maybe you've told it to yourself. In my framework to become the top boss of brain health, I help you think about your identity like the body of a vehicle. When you see a Chevy Corvette or an M8 by BMW, you know from their bodies that they're sports cars. They have two doors, they're shaped to move fast down the road with racing precision. Driving a nice car can raise your identity too, right? As a top achiever, most of you are not putzing around in a car that embarrasses you, right? Right? That's not something we're doing. The dealership salesperson often tries to use those identity tactics when we are buying vehicles. I've experienced this many times in my life. 
I've ended up with a Pontiac Aztec, like you might have seen Walter White driving. This is mine, the red one. But you might have seen Walter White in Breaking Bad bringing this this back to life, this 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 Aztec vehicle that that didn't have a very long run because it felt like a failed NASA moon lander project from GM on the outside, but it had all these valuable amenities and new tech inside at the time. Throughout my life, I've always managed to get the hand-me-downs, even with cars. I decided I'd had enough of someone else telling me what kind of vehicle or identity I would have. No more Mr. Minivan for this guy. The last two cars I have purchased a sports sedan, a G8 GT from Pontiac, and a convertible sports car, aka I call it the family car by mistake. Um, it's a BMW M6 competition. It's not the greatest car when you have kids that are over six feet tall and it only fits two or two really comfortably in the front seats and definitely not too comfortably in the back seats. And I'll tell that story later about how my oldest and I flew to flew to Arizona and drove it back on Route 66. And that was just a fun experience. But I bought the car online during the pandemic, sight unseen, but it was at the right price. It was used. I couldn't find other cars locally. And this was this was this was the car that was you know going to you know fit with the identity that I wanted, the white sports car convertible I'd never had. Sadly, many of us get stuck in Volvo of identities with something not exciting, stable or all reliable, right? I can say with certainty the car or identity you choose is 100x better than the one given you most of the time. Think about that. Like when somebody gives you an identity, most of the times it's not better than the one that you get for yourself. So don't expect to rust out. Have a finely tuned sports car for your long-term brain health as you as your identity. Keep your golden years golden, and let's enjoy a long drive. Increase that drive time. Now, here is the here is the framework. This is the framework that uh, that you've seen before. Like I said, we're talking about identity, and the universal concept is the body, right? the The identity is the one word that you know. When I talk about identity, I'm talking about like who we are, what we believe. Um, so the daily wear and tear on our bodies does not mean we lose our luster as the years, as last year's model, if we take care of them often. That's the big problem. Like most of us think we're going to rust out and, you know, be that rolling brown Camaro, like I described just a moment ago. Um, our solution sample is the, uh, is the brain, the cracking brain health. That's, that's, that's the solution symbol. You'll see that on things like, um, like these stickers, like these, like I put together sticker packs. I've got magnets, all these things around the house because I want to be reminded of the identity that I want to crack ALZ. So I've got these stickers everywhere, um, and magnets and, and, you know, you see some hats and stuff like that. We've talked about that before. Those symbols are so important. Um, and just, you know, the activation is to be part of something bigger than yourself while you constantly improve your self-resilience with brain health. Um, and when we have top line performance, we've got that radical resilience that I like to talk about. So that's all I have for today. I know it went a little bit longer than normal. Um, these, uh, these have been going about eight minutes, but I just you know, I felt it important to talk about the importance here on Framework Friday of having the right identity for your long-term brain health. Like, don't imagine being that rusted out brown Camaro, but we want to be, as we age, that finely tuned precision vehicle that has luxury and performance and something that doesn't embarrass us while we're rolling into our golden years, our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. So that's all I've got. Let's keep cracking.